Hi everyone, I hope you had a great time skip counting yesterday, finding things around your house. Today we're going to practice skip counting a little bit more, but we are going to start with a skip counting story called Sheep Won't Sleep. Now this story is a literary text. It is a fiction book, meaning it is not real. So let's get started. Clarissa could not sleep. She tried everything. Warm milk, reading, humming a lullaby, even knitting. Counting sheep usually works, she thought. So she closed her eyes and pictured gentle, wooly white sheep sailing over a stile with a perfect grace of ballet dancers. One by one, Clarissa counted them. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Have you ever tried to, to do this to fall asleep? A loud ba made her open her eyes, and to her surprise, she saw ten sheep in her room. It's not working, she said, watching the sheep, which had begun to get into her things. One ewe balanced on the bookcase with the lampshade on its head. You're not trying hard enough, advised the sheep. Try pairs of alpacas. Clarissa knew that pairs meant two, so she started to count by twos. Long-necked, long-legged alpacas leaped over the stile. Unlike the plain white sheep, their wool was co as colorful as Clarissa's basket of yarn. Orange and lime green, magenta and yellow, two by two she counted. I wonder why I chose this book. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. The alpacas joined the sheep in Clarissa's room, but Clarissa was still no closer to dreamland. Try llamas, said one of the alpacas, tossing a ball. Count them by fives. That should do the trick. So Clarissa pictured llamas each group in a herd of five llamas. She counted llamas patterned like silly socks and polka dots, stripes and zigzags as they scrambled over the stile and landed at the foot of her bed. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Wow, I would love this. Now her bedroom was full of wooly animals. What a racket! More, said the llama. Try yaks, ten at a time. Just do it. So Clarissa shut her eyes again. Herds of yaks, ten in each herd. The yaks struggled over the stile, bumping into one another. Clarissa counted by tens. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty. Fifty yaks in wooly coats of many colors, Argyles, diamond patterns, cables, and fair aisles, like a wardrobe of winter sweaters. Clarissa sneezed. Her bedroom overflowed with animals shedding wool everywhere. They bawed and bleated and snorted. They pawed and pranced, playing with her toys, reading her books, and trying on her clothes in her closet. The walls seemed to creak and bend. The noise was terrific, and the smell, phew! How many animals? Clarissa added them up. Ten sheep, twenty alpacas, twenty llamas, and fifty yaks equals a hundred animals. She couldn't keep one hundred animals in her room. Maybe if I count backward, I can subtract them away, she thought. She plucked a strand of wool caught on the bedpost and began to wind it up as she counted back from 100. 99, 98, 97. The ball of wool in her hands grew bigger, and to her surprise, three sheep unraveled until they had completely disappeared. She counted faster, winding the ball as she did so. One by one, she unwound each sheep. When the ball was as big as a baseball, the sheep were gone. 100 minus 10 equals 90. So she started on the alpacas. 90 minus 20 equals 70. 
and now the ball was as big as a basketball, so she wound up the llamas as well. 70 minus 20 equals 50. Now only the yaks were left. They protested a bit when she started winding, but soon they were gone too. 50 minus 50 equals zero. Now Clarissa had a gigantic ball of colorful yarn. She got out of her she got out her knitting needles. She finished just as the morning sun peeked through the curtains, but Clarissa didn't notice. She'd been knitting all night, and now she slumbered peacefully beneath her new polka dot striped ziggy zaggy rainbow pattern afghan. The end. I really enjoyed that book because of the llamas. So if you ever need some help falling asleep, skip counting might be the answer for you. Now we're going to do a little bit of skip counting practice. So if you look here, you can see that um, on this page, they are starting at a random number and they are skip counting from that number. So yesterday we were practicing skip counting starting at 0, 2, 5, or 10. But today we're going to skip count starting at a random number. And this is a little more tricky, but if you remember the patterns we talked about yesterday, you'll be able to do it. So you can see here, you can skip count by twos to count faster. So they started at 110. 110, 112, 114, 116, 118, 120. Same thing by fives. 95, 100, 105, 110, 115, 120, and then they did it by tens. 90, 100, 110, 120. So let's do this together. Skip count by twos to find out how many in all. So right here it is saying that there are already 80 in the jar. So let's practice skip counting together. And let me get out my pen. So you need to help me by saying it out loud. Ready? 80, 82, 84, 86, 88, 90. So you can notice my pattern. If I look in the ones place, it goes 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, zero. That's going to be my pattern every time I'm skip counting by twos. Now let's skip count by twos here and see if we can do it. So remember that pattern, it always goes zero, two, four, six, eight, zero. So let's do it starting at the number 94. Ready? 94, 96, 98, then what? 100, 102, 104. Good job. Oops. That is a little bit trickier, but look, it still follows that pattern. 4, 6, 8, 0, 2, 4. Okay, so now we're moving on to where we're going to have to do a little bit of problem solving. So this says count by twos. It's wanting to know the number that goes before and the number that goes after. So what you might want to do if you do not feel confident in your skip counting just yet, you can get a hundreds chart to help you. You can ask mom and dad to... Um, Google just a 120 chart and that can help you or you can um, count backwards by ones so but really try to skip count by twos but this part is a little bit tricky so you have to really try your hardest so it says skip count write the numbers so let's work on this together so count by twos I want you to think what might come before 110. Sometimes it's easier when it's like this. I like to do the number that comes after because skip counting forward is a lot easier than skip counting backwards. So I might do that first. So 110, and I'm, I know that that zero is there. So what comes next? 112. Okay. So now I might skip count backwards just so 
um, it's a little bit easier to figure out now. So 112, 110, 100, what do you think? 108, good job. But remember the pattern, 8, 0, 2, and then it would go 4, 6, 8. Count by five. So let's skip count by fives. I want you to try to do this one by yourself, and then we will go over it together. So pause the video and skip count by fives to figure out what comes before and after. Okay, ready? So before would be 95. And then 100, 105. Because the pattern, like we practiced yesterday, for fives goes five, zero, five, zero. All right, now let's skip count by tens. Ooh, you can do this. Skip count by tens. Pause the video to solve. Okay, ready? So we can skip count backwards from this. So 120, 110, and 100. And you might want to check your work to make sure it makes sense. 100, 110, 120. Yep, because I know that it will go 0, 10, and 20. Okay, let's look at the next problem. There are 96 red marbles in a bag. Jen puts two green marbles in the bag. Then she puts two yellow marbles in the bag. How many marbles are there in all? So you can do addition with this, um, but because that is kind of a large number to add, you can skip count by twos to help you solve. So go ahead, pause the video, solve this, and then unpause when you're ready for the answer. All right, you ready? So if I had 96 and then I skip count by twos because she put in two more, that goes to 98. And then put in two more, that would be 100. Did you get 100? Good job. Next problem. There are some coins in the chest on Monday. Brad puts 10 coins on Wednesday he puts 10 more on Friday. Now there are 110 coins in the chest. How many coins were in the chest on Monday? Ooh, so you really have to problem solve for this one. Go ahead, pause the video to solve it. Ready to solve? So he puts some coins in the chest on Monday. We don't know how much. He puts 10 coins in on Wednesday. He puts 10 more coins on Friday. Now there are 110 coins in the chest. So we know that there was 110 on Friday. So we know that it cannot be 120 because we, we know that this is the total number. So now we kind of have to skip count backwards to figure out how much we're in there when he put 10 more in. So if we skip count backwards by 10, we land on 100. So is 100 an answer? Nope, 100 cannot be an answer. So now we have to skip count backwards again because he put 10 more coins on Wednesday to make it this number. So if I skip count backwards by 10 again, I land on 90. Good job. Excellent. So the answer is 90. All right. I am not going to be able to go through these next problems because we are, I'm running out of time on this video, um, but you are going to do some independent practice on skip counting. Remember, if you do need some help, you can Google a 120 chart and that can help you. So try your hardest. I know you can do it and I will see you guys later. Bye.